third tip is photos, okay? The biggest complaint I get out of people who have to supplement for other companies or work supplementing in the company is the photos are never good enough to prove the argument. And this goes for interior and exterior. So like we were talking about that, um, the insulation issue where the R value wasn't enough to meet code. Well, there is a way to take a picture to prove what was existing right before you pull it all down and tell the adjuster, well, that's what was there, right? You need to document every step of the way, what was existing and why it should be paid for, whether it's code or um, directly damaged by hail. So let's get back to the kind of the roofing aspect of things here. So the one of the main arguments adjusters give is there's a hail damaged roof but the accessories like the flashings where this chimney meets the roof here, this flashing here, they'll say, well, that wasn't damaged by hail, therefore we don't have to pay for it. However, if you can get pictures of the flashing and then of the flashing interwoven with the shingles, because this flashing is actually nailed through the shingle below it, in order to get that shingle out and put the new shingles in, we are going to have to disrupt this flashing. So whether they replace the chimney flashing or just maybe give some labor hours to work everything back in, something needs to happen because this is going to be extra labor at this part of the roof. However, if you don't have a picture of it to prove it, you don't really have an argument. So the thing I want, to look, want you to learn about photos, most jobs you should be getting a minimum of 30 photos. Okay, so I'll talk about what you need to take pictures of here in just a second, but I just want to run through uh, some of these. See how that mastic on that chimney uh, flashing there? That's going to, that, that, that flashing is pretty much toast. <laughs> it's going to be hard to pry up that tar and, uh, and take care of that. So since they have a picture of it, we can now bring in that argument. This is why the chimney flashing should have been paid. And uh, hey, State Farm, you didn't pay it. <laughs> so those, those types of things can be proven with pictures. And let me see. Here's another great one of flashing. See how the nail is through the flashing uh, into the shingle below? State Farm hates paying for uh, things like this, turtle vents or these uh, pipe jack flashings. But if you can show them, hey, Mr. Adjuster, look, we've got mastic that is applied to this uh, split, this uh, pipe jack flashing here, and it's damaged because it's nailed through. Those are two reasons that they need to replace this. But I never get pictures like this from people that I write supplement estimates for. Um, not don't want to call out my contractors that I'm currently working with, but um, if we would get these types of pictures, I could easily get even State Farm to pay for these kinds of things. So I can't say enough about getting good pictures. And you know, every picture of each flashing, you even want to get that detailed. So um, let me just run through. There was a split boot on here too, I think. Do do do, which is an electrical mast. There he is. Okay, so this here is a different type of material that you'll need. Um, it's not just a normal penetration. You'll need a split, what's called a split boot. So if you can't prove that it's there, it's really hard to get it paid. And photos are the best and easiest way for a supplementer to get this stuff paid. I mean, it's just like the easiest uh, thing in the world once you can vis visually show them. You also have to understand in the insurance industry, a lot of these adjusters come from selling cars. I mean, they're not necessarily aware of what materials make up a roof either, especially if you're dealing with an inside adjuster. So by educating them and showing them what these different materials are, they'll love you for it as well because they're, they're learning stuff along the way too. So, um, you know what, I'll make an exhaust, I'll make a list for you guys and email it to you of what uh, uh, pictures I think you should be getting for the roof, for the interior, and also for the exterior. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll work on that, I'm sending that to you. But if you just wanna make a quick list right now for for the roof part, um, what I would do is is say, at le take a picture of it every slope of the roof. Now, if we go back to my previous example of this, this might be a little tough. I would just take pictures of the main slopes of the roof, but that helps the supplementer or someone who wasn't out at the site recreate the picture in their mind of where things are oriented. So if I, if I um, got a picture of each slope, I could then say, oh, this satellite dish was probably on the east slope because of where everything's oriented. So th that's, that's number one. You want to get a good overview of the roof. Number two, pictures of any penetrations of the roof. So this right here is a penetration. The satellite dish is a penetration. That split boot was a penetration. So it's nice just to wrap that all together and any roof penetrations 
flashing, you want to get a picture of that. Okay. Third, you want to get a picture of any of the other flashings like step flashing, chimney flashing, or L flashing. So if that's Greek to you, you're going to have to go and kind of educate yourselves on what those different um, materials are. Step flashing runs up the roof right here. L flashing would protect where the shingles meet the siding here. So where shingles meet siding and the roof is going upward, there's step flashing and then uh, there's L flashing. And that also is nailed through the shingle. So the flashing itself would need to be manipulated. Okay, so pictures tell a thousand words. I also would request that the salesperson, whoever is going to take these pictures, get a picture of each elevation. Because I had a USAA claim where I could see from what the guy had sent me, the five pictures he sent me, that the roof was two story. But because he didn't get off the roof and take a picture of the front and the back elevation where those two story dormers were located, that the roof was high, I couldn't prove that it was two story. So therefore, I couldn't get the two story roof charge paid. Okay, so there's many reasons, but you should be getting a picture of at least each side of the elevation. So again, people, the the inside adjuster also will thank you for it because they haven't been out to the property. Okay, so there's many reasons why you should do this. And again, it'll get you an exhaustive list, but uh, that, that's my tip number three. Um, I've been able to get so many more line items paid because I could illustrate with them, look, this flashing is damaged because it's nailed through to the shingle. And they're like, no problem, we'll add that. So make your life easier. Um, start to implement, you know, good good photo policies uh, in your office, and and it really does help at the end of the day getting uh, everything paid. Let's go back into Xactimate here, and we're going to find the images window. So images is in the top left corner of your screen. It looks like a small stack of photos, and if you hover your cursor over it, images will show up. Images used to be located at the top right corner of your screen, but in the new version of 28, they've moved it over to this little icon. So I'm going to ping it here. Hopefully you'll be able to find that on your screen. I'm going to left click on images and the images window will pop up and it will be blank. So we need to load images here before we can work on them. So I'm going to click on load images here in the images screen. Navigate out to my desktop and get into that folder that I've created. Xactimate Practice is the folder. And then I'm going to click on the picture to highlight it and left click on open. Now if you had like 20 files in here, you could just select all of them at once. So it'll allow you to select multiple files at the same time in order to add them. So I'm going to left click on open and that's going to bring it into my images window. And I can rename this, put front elevation. So there's an image name located down here towards the bottom of the screen. And then if I needed to describe this picture, I could go ahead and do that here in the description. So I could put front elevation, no hail damage scene. And go ahead and do that on your screen as well. Load the picture, give it a name, and then put a description here so you can see where this shows up when we print our report. Okay, so to exit this, I do not want you to use the big red X. I'm terrified of the big red X because of how many times I've lost information. So I'm going to use the escape key on my keyboard. So I'm just going to tap escape. That way I know it's just closing that window and nothing funky is going to happen with me accidentally closing the estimate for any reason. 